people with a lot of love for a place and tough people too. Like Louie Maurer, who I met earlier <laughs> this afternoon, lived here 35 years in Jamestown. Yeah. And you told me one really important story yes. right after this happened. Uh, a guy that was on the town council made a difference for yes. this town. Probably as did as much for this town as anybody else to save this town. And his name is Cad Drosty. He lives in Holly, Colorado now. And he was on the town council and uh, he was in charge of the media part. And this whole place was under lockdown. Yeah. You know, nobody could come in mm -hmm. or out. But he had a connection, and he was the person that brought NBC News into Jamestown before any other news uh, could get in here. That, town, that report was on the Today Show. I just looked at it the other day. Yeah. It made a difference for you. It made a difference for this, for, town. For this whole town. All of a sudden, you know, we we're the poster boy for the flood. And and the devastation that was here brought brought everybody in. And it was because of Jad Drossi, who lives in Holly, Colorado right now, that this happened. He made it happen. Small town, everyone knows everyone. Everyone yeah. hurts together. And yeah. Uh, yeah. Everyone went through many of the hard parts about it, including Lots including pets. Joey. Oh yeah. yeah. And then you took in Joey's cat, right? I know yeah. you, you said Joey is like the patriarch of this town. Yeah, yes, he was. In fact, on his uh, tombstone up there, that's what I wrote, patriarch. And, and tell us about his cat. Okay, so the all the telephone poles and stuff that were supposed to be saving his land came down in the flood and landed on him. And Shadow always slept with him. And Shadow we thought was dead. And then uh, Heather Yankee, who lives up here, was hiking back behind his house about 40 days later and heard a meow, you know, and everything, and came down and Shadow was there. And they had to amputate her leg. And this story was on the news, you know, back in the day. And, uh, and then they said, well, who's going to take her? I said, well, what do you mean who's going to take her? That's my cat. <laughs> you know, I mean, we we have a history, yeah. you know, and so and she just, you know, she is just a super great cat, and uh, and I moved into the up uh, top of the mercantile, and I'd come down and she'd be sitting on a table watching a band, and I'd take her <laughs> dancing because I think there was some transference between Joey and, you know, or wow. something because uh, yeah she and she didn't miss that leg a bit. <laughs> well, the story of the people, the animals, and all of Jamestown is, yeah. is one we're enjoying helping to share today. Louis, it's great to see you. Thanks for visiting Thank with us. Thank you. Thank you. All right.